concerts are back this weekend at the Youngstown Amphitheater. It's been closed because of COVID-19, but the music's about to play again. First News reporter Carolyn Sistrand is live from downtown Youngstown. Dave, organizers of the community concert series were obviously disappointed when their entire season got canceled because of COVID-19, but with some ease and crowd restrictions and the right procedures put into place, they're going to be able to welcome music and people back to downtown. Concert venues have remained closed for the majority of their summer season, leaving stages empty across the country, including here in the Valley. But on Saturday, the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater will be welcoming people back, finally taking the locks and chains off their gate here for a limited concert series. Confident that all state and local health regulations can be met, Phoebe Breckenridge at JAC Management Group says they're excited to bring shows back, to get musicians playing again, food trucks selling, and people enjoying local music. We have this new brand new facility, this gorgeous facility that we only got to use um, last year and to have it sit vacant all summer was just heartbreaking for us and all of our sponsors. Disco Inferno will perform Saturday at 730 and the next two Saturdays will feature Jazz in the Park in the 330 show. The season will end with the Vindies on October 10th. I love them all. Um, the Vindies I would love to see. But Boardman resident Gina Durkin has been to a few concerts at the amphitheater before, and while social distancing won't allow for that, she's just happy the concerts are back. I think there's a way to compromise and not be totally isolated in your home, you know, be able to come here and, you know, still enjoy the concerts. Breckenridge says that the amphitheater will be at 15% of its capacity, there will be sanitizing stations, masks will be required, and social distancing enforced. You know, some people might still feel a little weird about coming out during this, but we, you know, we're lucky enough to have a space of this size, and I think the way it's set up is just going to be perfect for social distancing. And Dave, because of that 15% capacity, they're asking people to buy their tickets ahead of time. You can go to Ticketmaster and you can buy them their five to ten dollars depending on which show. And they're also encouraging people to bring their own blankets and lawn chairs because the chairs that they typically set up in front of the stage will not be there. Live in downtown Youngstown, Carolyn Sistrand, WKBN 27 First News.